Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Room World. Thought I'd start right here this time. We went through the night, and last episode, as it finished, we discovered a bunch of wild boars up there. Way up over here that had just come onto the map right after I said, you know, it's spring, so we're going to get another herd of something moving in, and there they were. Though we have kind of a herd of turtles coming in now. <laughs> but took care of those, and some buffalo came in as well. So I went ahead and hunted a couple of those and brought all the, the meat down to butcher. One is still left, set for taming. Two alpacas over here, set for taming. And that is it that I'm aware of that's come in, but they were already kind of tired when we ended the episode, and so I worked them even harder. And Shantigo is a major break risk. Mississippi is a minor break risk, but she's on her way to bed and she'll be fine. But through the night... You're a muffalo. Um, Shantigo was down just, just below the major break risk line right there with his rest way down over here. And all this increased all night long. The beauty has been increasing. There's the forecast, but it never moved the entire time. Been waiting for him to get past that line to wake him up, and it never did. Didn't move at all, which was odd. That's not the way I'm used to it working. So I decided to wake him up and have him go directly to the cook stove and make a fine meal if he doesn't break before that happens and then eat it. Because there's only the uh, the, the simple meals out here and that's not going to give him any bonus. So I, I, need, I need his mood higher. So we're going to try that. See if it works. Don't give me a angry message saying that he's he's stripping off his clothes and going to run up there. Whoa, what just happened there? And he's running out in the in the in the the meadows naked. Well, he got over the line. Now it's going up like crazy, the way it should have. Hmm, odd. But quickly before someone else comes over here and steals them all, reserved by Cathra. No, 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 no. This one is for. You can both have one. Okay, have a ball. Okay. Well, the colony has awoke. I decided to, let's get some more. St of the uh, the statues going, let's get uh, at least Michael and Cathra working on here like crazy and trying to make some more happy places in our in our colony. Cause getting tired of moods being right at the line so often. Of course, that's all my fault. I work them to the to the bone. But uh, is there a class over here? No. But anyway, we have Eric in the colony now, right there. He's been. Doing lots of construction. What's he up to right now? Building concrete. Oh, just little projects that are sitting around. And he was up in here doing something at one point. But he has asked to become a melee character. So let's rethink things here. Eric, you're right there. Change you to a melee, which means the shield belt is back in. Smoke pop belt. I'm thinking that's not necessarily melee. It could be, but it could be actually any of them. So I'm not sure how I want to deal with that yet. They get shot, you get a poof of smoke, and they get a chance to retreat without being seen. Is kind of the, the take I've got on that. Release a thick cloud of smoke if the wearer is hit by a projectile, providing line of sight cover and preventing turrets from locking on. So I'm thinking that's more of a situation that a ranged character would be in. What to do with a melee character is what I've got to figure out. What I'm thinking of, because if I send him out, you know, to go do something against bad guys, they're going to be shooting him before he can get up to them to, to hit him with whatever, club or, or what have you. So, if we get a single character coming through, we could send him through and, you know, bop, 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 and, and uh, maybe win. So that may be how to use a melee character. Give me your guys' thoughts on the best tactics to use. I could see maybe ganging up on a melee character, although, you know, unlike the older versions I'm used to, RimWorld now will not let several characters stack into the same space, which is why we couldn't get anyone but just one character of the three we had standing here to get through and attack the one enemy that was right there. First one got into the door, that was that was one-on-one. -on -one. There wasn't three-on-one -on -one at all. So it's kind of hard to three-on-one inside of this uh, gauntlet. So it's hard to deal with a melee character. So this will be a learning experience. Give me your thoughts and hints on 
best tactics, not only to use one successfully. You know, I, I don't want to have to send the wild, the the, uh, the trained wild boars. What are they called? Wild boars? Wild boars. Out after to rescue Eric and drag his body back in over and over again to a hospital bed. So <laughs> I'm trying to keep that from happening. So give me your thoughts on how best to use a melee character in beta 18. Um, he did request a gold club. <laughs> gold club. We have, well, there's 65 there. Is that our grand total? Let's get down to there so I can see. Gold is in this one? Yeah, 65 is our total. And at least total in storage. Do we still have a little reserve hiding way down here? Yeah, we have an unknown amount in here. But in order to make a club... Now, clubs can only be made at the craft spot, right? I don't have something like that as an option. You can't make them multiple places, right? Right, okay. So if we were to put in a architect and production and crafting spot, say right there next to the machine table, and then bill and do a club. A club will require 40 ingredients. But what I'm getting out of this, I've never made one out of gold or silver or uranium before. Oh, jade is in times 10. I thought it was. Okay. Well, Cathra, you were right. She suggested make a, a jade one, and up till this point, jade has always been times... I think it was times 40 before, wasn't it? I think it was. I think these were all times 40s, and they, they calmed it down to a times 10, and, and jade has been taken off completely. Interesting. Um, this is a small volume ingredient for the gold. So this means that each unit is only one-tenth as much as a normal volume ingredient. So to fill the same ingredient requirement, you'll need ten times as much to as usual. So if we had made that gold royal... No, the royal bed only took fifty. It wasn't times ten for Thomas Law. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just... Just thinking out loud here. So it would we could make a jade one. Uh, we have no jade, of course. But we'd have to come up with 40 jade or 400 gold to make a special club. But Eric is still only a 3 in melee. So before we're going to go all extravagant on, on him here, we're, we're going to need to uh, have him prove himself a little bit. Let's get that up to about a 10. Then maybe we'll get a little crazy with... Uh, uh, with with what we're going to make a weapon out of. For now, though, so if he's melee, he needs to go pick up that, and he needs to equip something. What do we have in here? We have a steel club, and I'm not getting any sense of a quality. So steel clubs don't have a quality. Interesting. Steel club will do what? It will do 5.57 damage per second. How does that compare to a normal longsword? Now, how come a longsword can have normal, but a club cannot. Um, 6.82, so the, the, the long sword does do a better job. Um, spear, which turns out is a melee weapon. I, I'm thinking of spears as something you throw. There's a 6.71 for a spear. An Iqua, I just like saying that word, is a 7.17. Ooh. Now, I thought I had read one of these and there was kind of like a, a warm-up time so teach me about melee weapons how come there's no sense of how much time it takes between strikes with a melee weapon and there's no warm-up and cool down but surely you can't just constantly keep hitting there's got to be a time limit in between hmm don't know so we'll go with a steel club for the moment so Eric, you're doing what right now? Building concrete. When you're done, come and equip this one. Okay. So we've got that taken care of. Um, other notes. I've kind of got to pause. I want to be able to talk without the the thing dropping down over here on the side and blowing my train of thought. And David wrote in with an idea. I was trying to figure out whether to... And we're out of it again. To put corn over here. We're we really out of corn. We're out of corn. We're out of hay grass. Yeah, you guys hungry? Not yet. We probably just ran out. 
So, yeah, they've, they've all eaten relatively recently. Okay, we're fine for a while. Even Hachiko is okay. Muffaloes, they're good. Got another boom over there. Got a wild boar over here. All right, but, um, you know, instead of trying to make the corn last or, you know, make all those decisions, there it is. It's all over here. Hmm... Tell you what, let's take this thing down to the lowest setting and maybe they'll transfer over to the other one for now. I guess it fills up from... I wonder if they, if they go to the closest one or if they go to the lowest numbered stockpile. Zone 8 versus Zone 44 first. But they sure have filled this one up over here and they've neglected that one. But David was suggesting, kind of like what we're doing here, why not just plant a whole bunch of hay grass in the pasture rather than waiting for all of the natural grasses to work their way back in and that's kind of an interesting idea so I went ahead and made a massive growing zone but I did take out for the trees so we can leave the look of the trees in here and then we've got another one over here because this is rich soil over here so we'll give that a try this this season it'll give a uh, you know, uh, rabbit definitely something to do maybe too much to do but we'll get that going they do seem to harvest before they go through and and sow. So I did go through and remark these to be rice, to be food again. So rice over here, corn over there, and inside here, switch this all over to potatoes and try that again. Rice and strawberries. What was that? Miss P. I thought went to bed. She did. Now is she not going to increase? at all so where she is right there let's see what she is when she gets done with her rest when this gets all the way up to here if it happens what happened to shantigo that'll still be sitting in the same spot uh finish the crematorium all right so what is next let's drop back into where we were before when i let's go back to bed rolls so research that one okay and crematorium let's get that going candy you just finished everything up here no we still have that going on what was she what was that noise? Make club. Oh, I didn't mean to make one. <laughs> I, was just, I was just experimenting with it. All right. Well, Catherine, why don't you just leave that? There's no bills over here. Ah, they just finished that table. Um, add bill. Let's make ginormous sculptures. And I wonder how big they are. Hmm. I haven't made our first one yet. I want to see if... Actually, if I tell you, you already have a large one going on. Um, well, first of all, steel, wood, and all the stones, sure, and make one of those. But let's do a large right there and take you to the top. And same group. Okay. I wonder if Cathra will grab her large one and take it over to a different table and complete it. Or is this one definitely tied to that table and it's not a thing we can do? So, Cathra, if you dropped that there and came over here and did this... Well, first of all, do you have to eat? Nope, you're fine. Well, we're going to do this. And let's see if you... Hey, you did. Rimworld is all grown up. It's thinking smart now. Good to see. I don't think we could do that before. Anyway, with that going on, I wanna, I'm want i curious to see if Miss P ever does get better. Or if it's going to be there the entire time the rest goes up. So we'll have to wait and see how that works. Because that really surprised me about Shantico. Um batteries so we've got lots of charge coming in got all these refueled and i'm trying to get all of this topped up switches on we should be connected we are so we should be charging these guys and these guys yet i'm well what are we doing 289 290 291 it's going up pretty quick okay let's try to get these turned off at the end of the day ham is moving in a 60% normal thin thin thread jacket, so that's something to sell. And Natalia should be in bed. Mr. P should be in bed, so they're right there. So what's everybody up to? Tomislav must have gotten the uh, order to go and butcher, so he's grabbing that last one. There's another herd of them that came in. Hmm, yep, this is the time of year to be bringing in the meat. Over there. That's all. Okay, well, there's a bunch of those up there. Maybe we'll finish this off with another hunt. We'll see. Though getting this many is a little bit dangerous to 
go hunting them if they do revolt. There's, they're all 5.0 in their speed. Getting down to the last three or four, we could maybe pull it off. But having 12 of them coming at us, there's a good chance that someone's going down. Then we'll have to release the other pigs to go and <laughs> haul the bodies in. <laughs> um, to get done today, we'd love to get some more smoothing done. Love to get the kitchen completed. Love to get the surgery a little further along and maybe a couple of, of uh, patient rooms up and going. And then maybe get these bedrooms a little more completed and maybe even someone moved in. We'll see. Um, so Tomislav is butchering. Handy is out here trying to get this done, which then makes me hesitate to even say that we want to be doing that because... What was that? Failed wall constructing, okay? Because this is important too. Hmm. Next is Rabbit, who is busy harvesting strawberry plants. Breakdown of a battery. Yep, we went so many episodes of so few baked breakdowns. And now we're getting them quite often. Um, you're sowing potato plant. That's strawberry. Oh, this is going to become potato. Okay, which means you'll be dropping more of the hay grass and you guys are moving it on in here. That's good to see. We're going to be fine. Now, the dogs maybe cannot eat hay grass. That's interesting. Let's think about that. Is it called hay? It is not. It's called vegetables or kibble on the muffalo. And we know the dogs can eat vegetables, so I guess they can eat hay as well. Okay, no problem then. They can all eat it just fine. Let's we'll see if Bugsy takes a bite after she drops it off. She, because she is pregnant. Middle stage. And did not... Nobody looks like they're munching. Okay. So don't know when we're going to get this planted. This may be a while. Eric's out over here. Sangria is probably out trying to tame something. Now she's going to play horseshoes. So Tigo is cooking a fine meal. How far do we get on those? Um, let's haul these away. Reserved by Divot. Is Divot really close? Because I don't want to wait for Divot to walk in from... You know, extreme. Now, why don't you just come and get this one done? Let's go ahead and haul these away. Let's restock this and get you flying through more meals real quick. I'm only seeing four over here. And I pulled back, it didn't work. I thought I did. No, you're still critical. I set you up for, hmm. For simple meals, so the prisoners have not as nice a food, but eh, we'll leave it alone. We've got a lot of meat now. We'll go ahead and just fill the place up with with, uh, with those meals, the, the good ones. Okay, you stop there, and I want you to restock. No empty place. The dog has already claimed it. <clears throat> okay, then bring in more potatoes. You can't do that either. Oh, Rimworld, because you're doing it yourself. Okay. Are you bringing enough? You kind of did. Now, someone bring some meat over. What you doing? You're going to go top off their stockpile. Okay. Well, who's bringing the meat over? Well, they can't anymore because you did that. I'll be glad when we get into the new kitchen. That will be good because the, the meals will drop into a different place, won't drop into the stockpile. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we only got to Shantigo and it's time to go to bed. That's why I like to pause when I talk. I never seem to get anywhere otherwise. Sangria, you are playing horseshoes still, just arriving. Kathra is making a grand. I'm confused, Bills. I didn't put a one in there. So you were both making a grand the other time? Yeah, you were both making a grand the other time. Hmm. Oh, no, what is this? The large is here. I did put one. And you did it that fast? Wow. Only a shoddy beauty of ten. I guess we can look at it here. Carving resembles an army roaring in victory. Kathra wears a notorious expression. A dead goldfish appears in the distance. <laughs> And the style is cell shaded with classical elements. This representation tells the story of an assault on Cathra's territory in the 2nd of December. Really? So prior to her even joining the colony, well, that's a little dwarf fortress-ish. Interesting. A little history beyond our own encampment. 
Hmm. Well, shoddy beauty of ten, but how do you how do you get rid of that? I don't think I can. Cathro, you're up in here. It reminds you of your home. Okay. Let's install that one right there. Done. And you're going to bed real soon. You need a meal? Needs? Not really. Michael? Does. Okay. Do that. And install? You don't haul. <laughs> okay, fine. You go do that. Kethra, when you're done, let's do it that way. You mm, wouldn't just go. No, empty. What? Oh, I have to do you up here. That's what it takes. I could have had. Oh, I could have had Michael do that then. That's right. Michael. I can't right click on it anymore. <sighs> Clear. Michael. Now I can. You're going to do that, and then you can go grab a meal. Okay, that'll finish off your night. Kathra, making medicine. No, no, go back over there and do what you were doing. Oh, you won't automatically. Where are you going? Oh, now you got to make a large one. I've messed it all up. Okay, put that back over there. Set Kathra to art first. Where are you at? Right over there. We'll put art back as a one. And now you can continue as you would have and then we get a mental break hide in room Miss P crashed because hiding in her room um okay needs that's Kathra what's wrong there there she got up she got her meal but it didn't take her to the top Huh. Well, I guess if anything is going to happen to her, that's probably the best thing for it to be. Where are you at? You are down here. You've just suddenly got a, a phobia, and you're going to spend a bunch of time hiding in your room. Interesting. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, that's much better than going berserk on us. Yeah, I'll take that. And she got a meal first. Very thankful for that too, because it probably would mean that she wouldn't uh, she wouldn't eat or anything. Okay, minor break risk. Who, Michael? Who is going to bed? And already is out of that range. Good. Hunter likes weapon. Oh, eh? Work because it got you at a four on hunting. Where's hunting? Right. Where's Eric? Right there. So, I guess i got to take you... No, I still... Well, I guess I'll have to manually put you back to a four. If we're out on a hunt and there's one that is downed, that's one way that I could train Eric. He can go through and clean up all the downed animals. But he won't do it unless he's marked as a hunter. But if I leave him marked as a hunter, we're going to have that, uh, that warning message there the entire time. So I guess I'll have to wait on that. And these are the batteries that just keep going down on me. Hmm. Well, someone flicked that switch. We'll just do that. Too bad I can't go the other route. I guess I can once we get this done, but right now there's no switch on these guys. So I really can't swap them out that way. Okay. So, tomorrow, we will work on things. Kitchen. Get Handy back in here and complete maybe this upper half. Give us storage. Give us a dresser which can connect to these guys give us the other vitals monitor and the nightstands or end tables that will make these all more comfortable kind of mirror imaged here and there so we could do half and half and we get more of the silver flooring done and this will be pretty much done Nutramine 115 I didn't know it would stack more than 75 I wish there were hints about things like that we have all these wonderful stats, but how come we don't get all the stats? Hmm, so how far will Nutramine stack? We do get 200. Hey, do I have an example of that anymore? Uh, right there. So that stacks to 200. But I don't know what other things stack to. And how much room we have left here? We have maxed this out. We need a seller. We need a, a buyer. Really do. What else is sitting around here that needs to be stored that isn't? Actually, what we need to do is get some of this used up. 
We've got a lot of that in here, don't we? Uh, not really. In here? We have some. Okay. The chairs. We have an example of one right here. These chairs right here require a hundred of some kind of fabric. Could get handy doing those first. Getting them made. I made them out of cloth. There's a legendary one out of cloth. Out of cloth just to get the cloth used up. Um, cloth. Where are we on cloth? Are you... Where, oh, there it is. That one right there. Well, I wish I didn't have to touch the edge of the screen to get to that thing. It just drives me nuts. Cloth. Right there. 1,800 cloth. Wow. Are you going to show me the rest? There's 700 muffalo. So we could make one out of lynx. Could make one out of turkey. Out of pig skin. Out of beaver skin. That's probably deer. That color is goat. What is that color? Caribou. And warg. Lots of choices. Hmm. Cloth, we're probably going overboard on. Probably time to shut down on cloth. So let's replant this one, not as cloth anymore. It's a small one. Doesn't seem like it'd be making that much, but we're using it so seldom now that we're just not getting uh, uh, the bonus out of it. So let's go to something like... Well, we've got... Let's go to strawberry. Yeah, let's go to berries. Where are you? Right there. Okay. So that is there, and let's... Hmm... There we are. We'll leave the cloth ones that are there. Over here... Actually, all these are going to be cloth, though. Alright. So, does it say here? It does, cloth. Alright, let's cancel you and put in structure... Um, no, furniture. Chair made out of something else. Buffalo. Um, what was the gray? Turkey. And pigskin. Hmm... Neither of those sound really exciting, do they? But I can't see. We'll pop out of that one. Okay, so what else do we have here? Beaver and... Yeah, I can't see. Got to pull out of everything. All right. Deer. Let's go with caribou. Warg. Hmm, we'll leave the wolf. So caribou and warg. We'll do that. So back to architect. Back to furniture... Right there, caribou. Is it alphabetical? Of course not. Caribou, caribou, there you are. And you were in that spot. And then let's redo this one. There's a chair in there somewhere. I know there's a chair in there. Did I not put a chair in there? I didn't put a chair in there. Ah, okay. Architect. Caribou, um, warg? We'll do the warg in this one. Now, light is over there, so let's put it next to the light. That works pretty good. All right, so those two are available. Where are we? Already at 5 in the morning. Yep, it goes by too quick. Andy's already up. Let's get her assigned for the day. You are praying. Did you get food yet? You got food. So, why don't you pray for your carpentry skills? <laughs> and do that one and it did stack this time and do this one and get that finished that finished that finished and this one yeah okay so we get those going and don't know how much more I can stack in here but let's add that that these two Eric failed okay working on standing lamp and dresser. So there's a, a whole day's worth of work to do there. Klaus is trying to convince these guys to join us. Michael is, and Kathra, both working on these. Okay, when this runs out, we'll get back to doing other things. I think we're fine on stone blocks for a while. Let's go to that real quick. Right there, 650 and 639, so don't need those anymore. Um, Eric is out here working on this, get, getting his skill up. Pig is probably going to take the marble blocks away, make us all new ones. Yeah, and they're all isolated, so that's four, well, one, two, and three individual trips now. Four individual trips, of course. And let him, yeah, we'll make this his, uh, 
his main project for right now. Failed. He's he's kind of failing on me here, but I guess we're gonna fail at anything. Let's let it be uh, a wall. Okay. Cathra Natalia is making duster, and she'll break when she needs to. So Michael, Miss P, <coughs> still crashed over here. Um, needs. When is that gonna end? Hmm. Don't know what is the the point of of turning this of turning this off. This where does it say it? Hiding in room. When she goes to sleep. Bugsy has miscarried due to starvation. How? Eats vegetables. Animals. Bugsy. Right there. Assigned to this one. Well, wrong one. Wild boar area, but still that's... Oh, that's everywhere but the refrigerator. But wild boar area is here. Is... Where am I at? Is in there. She had access to all that. She doesn't have access to the rest of the kitchen, but... See, they eat vegetables. What just happened there? Let's go to the other dogs. Sienna? Fine. Wild boars are definitely in the wild boar area. Food is fine. What just happened there? I don't understand. Unless there was an animal assigned to every one of these little stacks of food, eventually getting there to eat out of it, like right here. Bambino is consuming milk. I don't know. But Bugsy is now part of the dog area. Any other of these that are wrong? Okay. And that was a sign there because there's still some training to be done, I think. So left in an area where it's easier to get to. But if that's going to happen again, then all the dogs get the dog area no matter what. No matter what their training is. So grazing area for these guys. I guess that meant to be grazing area, not wild boar area, but still the wild boar area covers an awful lot of space. That's really strange. So, Meadow has food. Wish there was another way to get to the dogs, other than just finding them. So, Beer is a little low on food, but has food. Divot is hauling hay. Well, I guess we need to get Kibble back on the menu, but this says they eat vegetables. There's vegetables all over the place, and hay seems to be categorized as a vegetable because it doesn't list it individually under the muffalo as, as consuming hay. They only eat vegetables. Really odd. Okay. Well, Bills, let's unsuspend the kibble and get that going again. Strange. So, you guys down here, Michael is making a grand statue. First, he's going to consume a fine meal, then hopefully go and make some kibble. In fact, let's just assign you to it. Um, past it. Right there. You go ahead and do that. Cathra. Cathra right there. Break, and you are making a grand statue first. Let's reassign work. Cathra, turn your cook back on. Michael, your cook, back on. Okay, go ahead and do that. Cathra, and there you go. Go make kibble. Okay, well, you guys will take care of all that. Michael, you're heading to where to eat that. You're heading right there. Good. And we'll just have to make that work. Okay, well, we lost some puppies. Darn. Anyway, what else? And the no warning on that either. Just right when it happened. Hmm. Um, so, Andy, how are you doing with all of these orders? Heading into there, you're now hauling five steel to the vital, vitals monitor. So you are basically just going to drop off the first thing and then go on to the next one. You're never going to complete any of these projects. Yeah, that's a problem with, with queuing jobs up that are construction jobs. Unless they are a one-hit wonder. You know, just one type of, of ingredient and it can all be brought in the same trip. It's not going to happen. Klaus, though, is going to build a cloth armchair. Cloth armchairs do require, um, or do give you a a level of quality, and Klaus is a 15. 
Okay, we'll leave it at that. He's he's doing pretty good right now. So we'll say that that's fine. Handy is working on other beds, which I'm not ready for. I just wanted the uh, the three. So medicines all come down. Bed rolls are finished. Let's come back to that. Let's cancel you. Cancel you. I don't want the medicine all consumed into these beds. We're only going to handle the, the three for now. You have got your medicine brought there too, so we're going to cancel that. Okay. Let the dogs haul the medicines back, although you've taken them all from here, and this is where I needed them. That was the whole point. So let's up the storage importance here and get the dogs to bring it all back over here. Okay, we're not ready to use this yet. We will be soon, but we're not there. So Klaus, if you want to construct, now you want to recruit. Hmm. I want you to actually, let's do just a little bit of work in here. Let's bring this over. Klaus, yeah. Why can't I right click? What you doing to me, RimWorld? Why can't I right click? Oh, that's completed. That's what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so work on, hmm, work on this. Let's get the electric stove going. Then let's get the standing lamp going. And let's get the chair going. And then the sterile tiles. Okay, so that is yours for now. And you're fine on food, so you're good. So Tomislav is now butchering, which means Catherine made it back over here to take over Michael's spot. <laughs> okay. Um Although, Cathra, you could do some hauling for me. Why don't you haul marble over here? Yep, Eric's doing a pretty good job here. We got the majority of this wall done. Do have some holes in there. And Eric is where right now? You are building a steel hospital bed. No, 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 no. That's a handy job. Let's continue cutting your teeth on, on building marble walls. Thank you. Now, Klaus, you are still doing? You are still doing. Andy, did you make it into here? You're going to do that, then you're going to work on that hospital bed. You dropped off a little tiny bit of steel. This one, all the steel's here. Oh, you're going to continue working on one of these, then you're coming back to that. Okay, that's fine. Who's next? Shantiko, you are out of wood. Go, go fill up your stove. We need the meals. Really need the meals, or it's all going to become kibble on us. That was the problem. In fact, that is a problem. Let's do something that Lady Shell recommended. Let's architect zone. She recommended these for the. Uh, in fact, let's pause for the um, meals in the kitchen. And I didn't quite get why at first, but now I do. We're going to tell this to be. Let's just make it easier. Grab a kibble spot over here. Storage, kibble. So copy and paste right there. And even though this isn't going to be where it's going to stay, boy, it's hard to click that. Right here in low priority, it's going to at least be able to count that we've got kibble in stock. Now we have a 75, but. 183 and that's how long it takes the RimWorld to update itself now it used to be almost instantaneous before but now we know when to stop making kibble otherwise we could be making kibble and just kind of fill this whole area up with kibble and unless unless a pig actually carries it over to a kibble stockpile it'll never show up and they'll just keep making it and making it and making it with meals that's not so much a problem I don't mind having an extra 30 meals they're not going to go bad as long as they eventually get into a refrigerator but kibble is going to eat us out of meat speaking of eating us out of meat probably should go and hunt some more of that but maybe we'll do that let's see where are we we're 40 minutes into this again maybe that'll be next episode let's see some progress around here got another bed coming in and it is a superior one great vitals monitor going in which has no sense of a of a quality and then we've got a steel shelf, a wooden end table, a light, and a dresser. Um, need more steel brought to that. We're going to run out of steel here pretty soon, which means we really need the animals to be hauling it in. But, oh, we got it done. Okay, that's done. Let's work on 
standing lamp. Good. And you click over there. You are... There we go. 30 out of 30. Handy. Hauling silver. Now, once you finish working on that, all the supplies are here. You are a steel shelf, and you are a steel dresser. Okay, work on this shelf. No, nope, I did that wrong. Work on shelf. There we go. So we'll get everything built over here. Now, I'm seeing dirt. How does the steel tile actually work? Um, beauty. So it's still negative 15 in beauty, the dirt is. Steel tile, let's read about that. I can't click on it and do any good. So architect, floors, not steel, uh, sterile tile. Here we go. Help keep the room clean. How? I still have dirt there on top of the sterile tile. Very useful in hospitals to prevent patients from getting various infections. Neutral in terms of looks and very slow to build. Okay, so how does that tile assist us when the dirt is still here? Does it just show it but it doesn't count in regard to stacking up to the calculation that, that allows infection? I don't know, but Handy, you are doing what? Hauling silver to sterile tiles. Okay, when you're done with that, then get back to working on this dresser. Then we're going to call this pretty much functional, I think. I think so. Got to assign what's going to go in here. Let's give it the same assignment as this one. Copy and paste. I decided I wasn't going to put any medicine in here, thinking it would just be out here, but I can see rather quickly we're going to run out of storage space if we're going to try to create the product, the, the, the medicines here as well, and we're going to run out. So it would be best to get a little more storage, and it does make sense that the medicine be actually stored in the surgery. You are a dresser, you are a dresser, so it's just the one, the one storage in here. Okay, there wasn't room to do it on the other side because the door took up the extra space. Okay, so that's going kitchen. Did we ever kind of get now, yeah, kind of. Klaus, you are attempting to recruit. Okay. Well, maybe Handy can dive into there next. And then we'll call this one done. Let's get this one built. We have a lot of the silver delivered. Stripping us down to... Still at 5,000 silver. So we're still pretty good in regards to being able to, to buy bionic parts if they arrive. Otherwise, Shantico's making meals. Let's try one more time to haul this out of here and bring a big old stack of meat in. So once you do that, that should have given us enough time. Can't. There, we can do that one though. Weird how it, it won't let me do one stack next to it, but will let me do that. And then you can bring more of the, not those berries, not those berries. No. Hmm. Can you bring them now? Now? No. There, but you can bring them. You can bring these now. Weird. But I can bring these. Oh, that drives me nuts. There, you can haul that one. So next, you're gonna do that. It's not like something else was assigned to that space. Rimworld was only accepting that one pile. That is so strange. Anyway, so that's gonna get more meals made. We are up to twelve of them. So plenty in here. Class is recruiting. Eric, how you doing over here? You're getting close to being done. Ooh, that's nice. Which means we can get Eric assigned to to uh, going insane, smoothing floors, and get our bedrooms done. Yeah, it's a good job for low man on the totem pole. Starvation, where, who, how? Miss a P, yeah, well, get out there and eat. Hmm. Needs, you're still hiding in room. You are about dying over here. <sighs> Can I get Tomislav to feed? I can't do that. Um, boy. Let's try something here. Orders, uh, zones, stockpile. Let's grab this stockpile setting, copy and put that over here, paste, which is fine meal, specifically fine meal, critical. Let's get, 
who else is nearby? Thomas Law, before you consume that, can you haul these, please? And don't haul them to the prison. There's nine there. Will you do it? And you're going to grab this one, and you're going to go where with all of them? And you're going to grab that one. Oh, good. Let's get that over here. Though she's hiding in her room, will she, at least if it's in her room, grab a meal? Can I make you? I can't. <sighs> Don't you die on me now. Okay, well, that's not going to work. So, let's go ahead and cancel that pile there. Thomas will grab one for himself, though. <laughs> it wasn't forbidden from him. Okay, well, I guess next time we'll figure out what happened to Miss P. Everybody else, it'll roll call here. You guys are doing that. Alicia is double click, making kibble. Klaus down there. Uh, Sangria is making kibble as well. Rabbit ended up making hay grass. Good. And he's doing that, and Tomislav never got back to research. Let's set the research and call this episode done. What's next? So we've got basics, pemmican and bedroll, for um, for heading out and traveling around the world, should we decide we want to do that. Otherwise, we don't need hydroponics, we're doing fine with our greenhouses. Um, eventually it might be good to get into shield belts, which can be done now. Make a higher quality shield belt. So there's that. Multi-barreled weapons so makes more mini guns if we choose to. Charge shot lets us make a charge or a charge rifle. Uh, crypto sleep casket, which you could use for a medical emergency if you wanted to, but don't see that really benefiting us. We've now got the hospital bed, the vitals monitor, the glitter world medicine. So whatever we have to do, we can do it right now. Component assembly. We're not there yet. We've still got plenty of components, which I believe requires like 20 or 30 components to make it, which is a little crazy. you got to have it to, to get it. Shipbuilding basics. If we build the ship for some of the crew, that won't be for a very long time. So ground penetrating scanner would be kind of nice. Let's go here next and get that one going. The fire foam. Allow us the construction of fire foam poppers. That might not be a bad idea, too. Let's get that one going, just to have the basics for that. Okay, that works. And I think we'll call her done right there. Next time, we will head out to take on... And a herd of boomalows moved in right into all of our wild boars. Making that hunt a little more exciting than I had planned. What else moved into here? We've got our, our alpacas over there. Nothing new has jumped in over here. Did we get any planting going? We did not. Okay, but we have lots of hay over here now. Lots of hay. So let's turn this back on. This one. This one. Storage. Back to whatever this is. So copy you and paste you. Okay, so we're good there. Any other animals head this way? Come into the map this way. No more herds. Okay. But, yeah, the meat's going to run out faster than, than we, than, you know, we've seen how quickly it goes away. Down to stacks of 10s and 40s. Yeah. So maybe next time we'll start off up in here for a quick hunt. Very selective surgical hunt. Or it's raining. Ooh, it is raining. It's 20 hundred, though. Will it be raining when the day starts tomorrow? We could hunt these guys and not worry about fires. Hmm... Yeah, maybe we'll maybe maybe I won't work on the map after this episode so that we can get everyone up at four in the morning. Starvation is still Miss a P. Get them some food. I tried. Needs. I guess mood's got to hit zero or something. Then you go rest, and these meals will kind of still be here, as long as Shantigo has made some others. Who's sleeping? Where's Shantigo? He is right there, hiding in the doorway. Cooking fine meal. Okay, fine meal, fine meal. Well, hopefully he pumps out a few more fine meals before the end of the day, and they'll stay. They'll take these and leave those there, and she can grab a meal that much quicker. Anyway, so we got the Mississippi saga going on, and we've got 
a potential hunt going on. So let's leave this over here to remind me for next episode. And we'll call this one done here. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.